We had three or four different shots that we'd done for three different types of burgers on the trays. And we wanted to get a really good shot with all three burgers in. We went with this one. Uh, I like this one because it had the wooden paneling in the background and it had the lighting, which added another point of interest. So you can see us start to make some basic changes now within Lightroom. Firstly, bringing up the shadows, lowering the highlights slightly, and just looking to set the exposure level. And one thing you'll see that as we go through this edit is I'm constantly flicking forwards and backwards from before the edit through to the changes that I've made to make sure uh, that I'm liking what I'm seeing. Now we obviously want the burgers to be popping, so we've just added a little bit of texture and clarity in. Although you'll see that we do go in and amend the burgers individually through the edit. So we go before and after again. You see the changes that were made there. Added brightness to the shot. Okay, so now we dive into the tone curve. Uh, you'll have seen this loads of times before potentially, but we give it that gradual S shape curve. For each individual element within Lightroom, you can turn the individual change on and off. You can see us changing here between tone curve on and off to see what we've done. So this is where we start making some adjustments with the adjustment brush. So we wanted to go in to this specific image. Obviously it's the burgers that we're trying to highlight and the lighting configuration that we used uh, created some nice highlights and shadows, but we wanted to make sure that the ingredients within the burger or within the bread within the burger were really popping so that you as a viewer would look at the contents within the burger and, uh, and basically want to eat them. So as you can see, we're bringing up the exposure and we've lifted the shadows and the highlights up significantly. So what's really key when you're using the adjustment brush is that you are keeping and maintaining that dynamic range. So you can see I've created a new brush here and we're actually dropping the exposure down so we can actually darken some of the elements. And that's what's going to draw the eye to the elements of the burgers that we want the eye to be drawn towards. So this is where we jump in and start using the graduated filter uh, and we'll almost frame the picture at this stage. So you can see before and after. So we want the foreground to be darker so that your eye is drawn upwards right into the middle of the picture uh, to the burgers. Then go down to transform, we wanna make sure that the picture is level. So generally go in and take it from off to level. Um, occasionally it doesn't look quite right, so if you don't feel that it's quite right, you can jump back in. And you can go into the crop overlay and then adjust the angle yourself. Again, before and after, so you can see there's a significant difference. Picking the adjustment brush, and at this stage, the board felt a little bit too bright for me. It's that in parts, a little bit too overpowering. Uh, when again, I want the burgers to be the focus of what we're doing. So at this stage, I decided to dive into Photoshop and we're gonna take uh, the adjusted image that we've got so far. And then as I alluded to at the start of the video, the aim now within Photoshop is to really clean up the image. So what I'm using in Photoshop here on my keyboard, I've got J set to spot healing. So I just li literally tap J adjust the size of the brush and then when you go over to your image and just click over any blemishes you've got so there's some white little dots here these were i think these were actual um bits of the table where there was chips in the wood it essentially removes the image that you've got and blends it in with the surrounding area again this is one of the reasons why people love diving in from lightroom into photoshop because you can take what's already a good image but you can really really clean it up and remove anything that might be interfering with the image. So in this case, we want the viewers to be honed in right onto the burgers. The, the blemishes on the table, while it's not significant, are all small imperfections. You see the light that came down there, a reflection that's coming from the lights above. But again, it was something that took your view away from the burgers. Okay, so you save that in Photoshop once you're done and that automatically saves a copy of it into Lightroom. So you flip back into Lightroom and you can see now before and after table looks a lot less interesting now in the foreground but that's fine because we don't want the eye to be drawn there as i mentioned earlier i had a camera kit that was in that far left corner which i wasn't happy with so again just going into the brush and we are just uh, darkening that section there which again fits with the, the moody sort of feel of the shot so at this stage i started using one of the the best features in my opinion in lightroom which is the radial filters so you stretch out the filter uh, around the area that you want to adjust and then invert. Inverting means that you're gonna impact what's within the circle. If you don't tick invert, then it will impact what's around, everything around the circle. So again, I wanted some of these, uh, the insides of the buns to really pop. So at this stage, I'm pretty happy with the image already. We're gonna go into the HSL tab. So obviously because of the nature of what we were shooting, there were lots of reds and oranges. Just pulling that saturation up on the reds and the luminance up a little bit means that the jelly, particularly in the middle burger, really popped. 
So there we go, we can see now the two separate photos that I've got, the initial image that we edited and then took into Photoshop, and then the finished article, which I'm pretty happy with.